Now, according to Wikipedia, a chocolate teapot is a teapot that's made from chocolate, not surprisingly. It's commonly supposed that such a teapot would melt and would be impossible to use. Therefore, the term is often used as an analogy for a useless item. Now, we've had a look here at The Naked Scientist for some evidence that chocolate teapots really are useless and we couldn't actually find any. So we've decided to test this for ourselves and Dave has made one. And with Diana's help, they've got the teacup set up over here. They're going to test it, Diana. Yes, I've crept into the back space of the studio and I'm here with Dave in the most incongruous display of civility <laughs> that I've ever seen from you, Dave. We've got teacups, we've got some hot water ready for making tea, we've got tea bags and we've got a lemon. So Dave, what are we going to do with it? Well, I thought I'd try and give the teapot the maximum chance it could, so I did a few experiments beforehand. I put some chocolate in the bottom of some tubes, put some boiling water on on the top and I discovered that actually a only a 10 millimeter thick layer of chocolate in the bottom of a kind of two inch tube was enough to hold up boiling water for the three minutes you'd need to um, brew some tea. So that's quite surprising that's just a centimeter of chocolate will actually look after the water then it won't let it spill. That's right now I then decided to make a teapot using the information I'd learned I've used dark chocolate because it has a slightly higher melting point than milk or white chocolate. Because oh, it's got less fat in it. And um, the fats are actually slightly different. Um, and it's over here. OK, Dave's now reaching into his magic box of tricks. Oh, and wow. oh Dave. <laughs> That's amazing. That is impressive. <laughs> it's even got a lid. <laughs> what he's made, he's made this incredible chocolate teapot. I mean, it's, it's huge. It looks like something out of the Flintstones. It <laughs> looks like you've carved it out of a solid block of chocolate. <laughs> How much How does that weigh, Dave? <laughs> OK, um, in order to give it uh, give a bit of an engineering margin, all good engineers need to leave a bit of a margin, I decided rather than 10 millimetre walls, I'd make them a good inch. Um, it weighs about two kilograms. <laughs> you can see this on the webcam, by the way, if you want to, to have a look. It is pretty impressive. Two kilos of chocolate, wow. Yeah, I don't think it's something you want to cart along to your neighbour's tea party, really, is it? <laughs> but will it work? That's the question. So uh, we'll chuck in some tea bags. Um, we're using Earl Grey because only the best here at Radio 5. <laughs> That's very posh. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Dave is... Uh, is now pouring in some water into his magic teapot. Oh, that's lovely. It's actually quite a large teapot, so it's quite a lot of water. <laughs> you need a big bladder to accommodate the, <laughs> the inevitable results of drinking that. You're really thirsty, Chris. <laughs> uh, I can already see actually the water is starting to turn a, a lovely brown colour. Oh, I don't think that's just that's the just the tap bags. water here in Manchester, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> it could be. All right then, so we're going to let that brew for about two or three minutes, and I think that's about the normal time for a proper, proper cup of tea. Um, so what's actually happening while that brews? Well, it hasn't melted yet, which is always a good sign. Um, the layer immediately close to that boiling water will be melting really quite quickly because in chocolate melts at sort of 30, 40 degrees centigrade. That actually takes a quite a lot of energy. And the layer behind it is insulated by this layer of molten chocolate on the outside, so it's going to take slightly longer to melt. And then as you get further in, it's going to take even longer to melt. So with any luck, before this um, teapot melts, we should have a nice brew of tea. <laughs> OK, then, so it's got this lovely insulating layer of chocolate that's looking after the, the chocolate that's all around the outside. So do you think, are we going to get ready for the, the big reveal? Do you think we dare pour anything out of this yet? I think we'll give it a little more time to brew. You've got to give it this chance to work through properly. <laughs> I want my chocolate drink. <laughs> Um, in fact, this kind of protection is very like the protection you get on the bottom of space capsules when they come in to re-enter. Rather than attempting to make something which is entirely unaffected by the huge temperatures of re-entry, they tend to make a layer which slowly kind of chars and then burns away, and that takes away a lot of the energy um, and means that your um, space capsule can get to the ground without actually burning up. So what do they use for that? Is it cork or something like that? Yeah, they actually use cork impregnated with resins. Now, I think we're probably getting towards a reasonable brew by now. Yeah, Have go on. Inside. It Isn't hasn't melted yet. The, the lid's looking a little... <laughs> the, the lid's actually melted. holding up quite well. I mean, the lid is actually considerably thinner than the rest of the teapot, but it stayed pretty solid. The smell is incredible. I mean, it's sort of <laughs> bergamot-infused chocolate. No, no sugar for me, please, Dave. <laughs> I think you're stuck with sugar, Chris. <laughs> OK, are we going to try and pour some out now? Hey, that's not bad. It's not a very well pouring teapot. It's going all over my face. No, it's, it's certainly not drip, a drip, Dave, drip you know? free uh, nozzle. This is it's certainly dripping. It is, it is working. There's tea pouring out of the spout. And yeah. It, so working. Dave has managed to pour four cups of very brown and um, <laughs> opaque looking tea out Diana, of this chocolate you haven't chocolate drunk teapot. any of it yet. Let's, see, let's actually see it get drunk. I, I don't know if I want to. Go on, actually, can we give some to Chris first? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh god, now I've got to drink it. Okay, here we go. I w okay, I'm going to try the chocolate teapot made tea. Here we go. Three, two, one. How's actually, it? it's not too. Bad. That's very nice. It's like mocha tea. I quite like that. Actually, I'll keep that. I will drink that. It's really nice.